again, my friends. I want to share with you some more of my experiences in Jerusalem. In this video, I want to take you to a place known as the Kidron Valley. It's an important valley between Mount Moriah and the Mount of Olives. It's mentioned in the book of Joel. It's known as the Valley of Jehoshaphat, and it's also known as the Valley of Decision. It's here where people on the earth in the last days are going to make eternal choices. Where I'm going to take you, most people have no idea how important this spot is going to be for their future and in the world's future. Now, the Muslim faith has a, a view on this valley. It's, 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 there's a bridge in Islam. It's called the Bridge of Sirat. It's where the Day of Judgment, where people are going to run across this bridge. So they consider this, the Kidron Valley is below this bridge in the last days. Now, I don't agree with the Muslim viewpoints. I'm just letting you know that this area is also important in the Muslim mindset, okay? Um, and so, therefore, we talk about the Muslim population on the earth, 1.5 billion Christian population. So we see the whole world's gonna be focused on this spot, uh, you know, in the future. But before I get into this in the video, if you could do me a favor, if you can like this video and subscribe to this channel, you'll get the latest updates and the newest content when it's posted. And I just wanna thank you very much for your subscription and for your likes, thank you. So guys, let me give you the background to this video. When I flew into Tel Aviv, uh, it was about 30 miles to Jerusalem. So after I checked into my hotel and I rented a car, I wanted to get to Jerusalem as soon as possible. But by the time I got to Jerusalem, it was evening and it was getting dark. And this was my, this was my first time in Jerusalem. So my friend and I, we bought some food from the street vendors outside the old city walls. That's what you see here, okay? And as we made our way to the Mount of Olives, the sun was setting. And by the time we made it to the Kidron Valley, it was night. So this is, uh, these are night shots in the Kidron Valley. Now, as we descended into the valley, I could not believe my eyes. Here we were, the two of us, we're alone, and uh, with these ancient tombs all around us, tombs that have been around before the time of Jesus, tombs of those who are in the Bible. So we're walking in the very valley that King David walked, Isaiah walked, Jeremiah, Jesus walked. This is the very spot where 2,500 years ago, Nehemiah surveyed at night before the walls of Jerusalem were rebuilt under the authority of the kingdom of Persia, and that's in Nehemiah chapter two. And guys, to really understand the prophetic significance of this spot, I wanna help you get a clear picture of where I am so you can better understand uh, where, where we are and exactly the location as far as the Bible is concerned. So uh, here is an illustration, and you can kind of get an idea. That that gold dome or that, that gold, is that's where the temple would have been. And so the Wailing Wall is a, is a retaining wall that's built around Mount Moriah. So you can see Mount Moriah here, okay? And those two individuals, that's kind of like where we were in the position of the Kidron Valley. Now, Jerusalem is a hilly terrain. There are seven hills or mountains that make up Jerusalem. And so the Mount of Olives and Mount Moriah are two hills. And that valley, the valley between these is, is the Kidron Valley. And this is also known as the Valley of Decision. So, uh, because, and this is the most expensive cemetery in the world. And it's the, the Jews hope that when the Messiah comes, they're going to be the first to be resurrected to see Messiah. That's why they're buried on the Mount of Olives. But you can notice now, here is the Eastern Gate, also known as the Golden Gate. And the Muslims have a cemetery on the other side, uh, on, Mount, on the Mount Moriah side of the Temple Mount, in front of the Golden Gate. The Golden Gate is also known as the Eastern Gate. There's several names it's known by. It's the gate to the Temple. And the Muslims, they actually sealed the Golden Gate to prevent the coming of the Messiah. Uh, and they put a cemetery was placed there to also prevent uh, Elijah, who, uh, who ushers in the coming of the Messiah in, in the Messianic Age. So according to Muslim tradition, I, Elijah would not walk near the dead. That's why there's a cemetery in front of the Eastern Gate. So let me give you some more prophetic uh, background on this. When Jesus ascended, uh, 
on the Mount of Olives. This is in Acts chapter 1. Uh, when Jesus returns, he will return on the Mount of Olives. And this is according to both the Old and New Testaments. Also, the Mount of Olives is going to split in two in the last days. And Jews are going to flee through a mountain valley under God's protection. And this is the entrance. The, uh, the, entr the entrance to this end times valley is somewhere in the Kidron Valley. So the Kidron Valley at some point, according to Bible prophecy, is going to split open. And the Jews are going to flee through this entrance to this, this area that God's going to preserve them. Now, now let's, we're going to look at the, at the prophetic verses in regards to the Kidron Valley. In Zechariah chapter 14, which was written 520 years before Jesus, that's over 2,500 years ago, Zechariah tells us the feet of God will rest on the Mount of Olives, and the Mount of Olives will be will split into making a passageways for the Jews to flee. And here, here how here's how it goes according to Zechariah. Here's the points: God is going to gather all the nations of Jerusalem. This is the end time event. The nations are going to attack Jerusalem and the Jewish people, and God will split the Mount of Olives open, and the Jews are going to flee through this passage. After a period of time, which is the tribulation. Jesus is going to come and judge the nations, and his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives. Uh, this is the end time scene that happens right here at the Kidron Valley. Right here at the Kidron Valley. Zechariah, Matthew, and Joel all show us the same picture. Now let's go through the Bible verses. Here's Zechariah. So this is Zechariah chapter 1, chapter 14, verses 1 to 5. It says, Behold, a day is coming for the Lord when the spoil is taken and you, and you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken and the houses plundered and the woman raped. Half the city shall go into exile, but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then the Lord will go out and fight against those nations as when he fights on the day of battle. And on that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives that lies before Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west by a very wide valley, so that one half of the mount shall move northward and one half southward. And you shall flee to the valley of my mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach to Azale. And you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. Then the Lord my God will come and all the holy ones with him. So this is talking about the Lord is coming at the end times when this is taking place. The Mount of Olives splits and the Jews flee. Guys, Jesus is talking about the very same event that Zechariah is talking about. Jesus is telling the nation of Israel to flee when they see something. What is that something? Let's read the verses. So he, Jesus says, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down and take what is in his house. And let not the one who is in the field turn back and take his cloak. And alas, for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days, pray that your flight may not be in the winter or on the Sabbath. This is Jesus' message to the people in Jerusalem in those days. So as you can see, the Mount of Olives, uh, what is happening on the Temple Mount, like if you're in Jerusalem, you can stand on the Mount of Olives. You can watch the events taking place on the Temple Mount. So Jesus is telling the nation to flee when they see the abomination. Where are they going to flee? They're going to flee through the Mount of Olives, which will be split open at the Kidron Valley. After the Great Tribulation, Jesus is going to return with the armies of heaven. As Zechariah says, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives. Friends, before Jesus returns, the nations of the world will be gathered to Jerusalem for judgment. According to Joel, their destination will be the Kidron Valley, also known as the Valley of Jehoshaphat, also known as the Valley of Decision. Let's look at, these, at this verse so you can get a full impact of what you're seeing.
Now this is the book of Joel. It says, For behold, in those days and at that time when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment with them there on behalf of my people and my heritage Israel because they have scattered them among the nations and have divided up my land and have cast lots for my people and have traded a boy for a prostitute and have sold a girl for wine and have drunk it. Notice, after the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem are restored, what does that mean? It says when the Jews are gathered back in the land and the nation is uplifted. That's where we are, folks. Israel has prosperity and it's gaining more as we speak. Notice, God is the one who is gathering the nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat or the Kidron Valley. It's God versus the nation. Israel is just the vehicle of God's judgment. So the nations are going to be gathered. Now, continuing on in Joel chapter 3, verses 9 to 16, we read, Proclaim this among the nations. Consecrate for war. Stir up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am a warrior. Hasten and come, all you surrounding nations. Gather yourselves there. Bring down your warriors, O Lord. So what's happening is the nations are gathering for war. Um, the people who are weak are saying, I'm strong, I'm going to come. So God's going to judge them there. Like verse 12, it says, let the nations stir themselves up and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the surrounding nations. Put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Go in, tread, for the wine press is full, the vats overflow, for their evil is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Again, that's the Kidron Valley, the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon are darkened and the stars withdraw their shining. The Lord roars from Zion and utters his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth quake. But the Lord is a refuge to his people, a stronghold to the people of Israel. God is judging the nations for their evil. I mean, there is evil going on in the world today. Uh, all kinds of things, ab abortion and all kinds of horrendous things going on right now in the world. And God is going to judge the nations. And here we see the valley of the Kidron Valley is being called the Valley of Decision. Why? Because it's here that people make a decision for eternity. Do they oppose the living God? Do they w go to war against God? But God will save the Jewish people from the wrath of the nations. Why? Because they will finally understand in the last days that Jesus is Messiah. And they will call out to him and he will return with the armies of heaven. So God is judging the nations for their evil. And here we see the Kidron Valley is being called because they are... The, uh... So his feet, his feet will stand... His feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, as we read in Zechariah. Continuing on, it says, So you shall know that I am the Lord your God who dwells in Zion, my holy mountain. And Jerusalem shall be holy, and strangers shall never again pass through it. And in that day, the mountains shall drip sweet wine and the hills shall flow with milk and all the stream beds of judah shall flow with water and a fountain shall come forth from the house of the lord and the water and water the valley of shittim okay but judah shall be inhabited forever in jerusalem to all generations this is talking about the end times in the end the house of water is going to flow from the house of the lord to the valley of Shittim. The valley of Shittim is the Dead Sea, okay? Uh, and notice, Jerusalem's, Jerusalem's going to be holy, and God's going to dwell at Zion. And never again will Israel go through this tribulation. Also notice, the mountains will drip with wine in the hills. Uh, so, there you have it, guys. This is the Kidron Valley. This is what we're talking about, and now you understand more about it. Thank you.
up from the Kidron Valley toward the walls. <laughs> 